everyone, Tiny is Jibby's here, and we are back with Genshin Impact. I have no idea what I was doing. I am almost doing something or another. What I do know is that I gotta do the, the cat thing. But since I'm here, I might as well do the side quest that I started last night, but didn't do. I'm actually starting Genshin a little later than what I normally would do. But, uh, this morning I just kind of was like, blah, because I didn't, like, I stayed up late last night, or this morning, I think it was like four, like, I know I passed out at a point, woke up, though I know I wasn't passed out for very long, because I was watching this video, and it was still playing, though it was further along, I don't remember how long. But, like, I woke up and my cat was fucking sitting on me. I'm like, the fuck? Because I... Like, why the fuck are you... Why is your butt right in front of my fucking face? So I, like, yeeted her off me. And then, like... Like, I wasn't even slept in a very comfortable position. So it was just, like... Very bothersome. And I was just like, blah, you know? What is going on here? Um. But yeah, like, my foot was, like, half asleep. And so I, like, just went into my room and went to sleep. Woke up and continued working on, like, um, some embroidery work that I was doing. Finished that. I'm going to charge like 10 bucks for it. I, originally I had told him like five to eight, but you know, I was looking at it and I'm like, <clears throat> I'm like, I feel like I should get more. Like yeah. part of me wants, like I could even probably ship, uh, ship, do all the way to like 20 or something, but I'm like, I don't think it's worth that much. You know, I mean like, I think it's worth quite a bit, but I don't want to charge too much, because 10 bucks is quite a bit. I mean, but it did take me, like, a few hours to do. Faster. And it does take my... <laughs> um, it just, it did take me a while. So I figured, you know, 10 bucks should be fine. It's like, what, 2 bucks an hour, or what it is? Like, a little less than $2 an hour. An hour. Which is fine. I don't know what else I could... Like, I still need to do a bunch of embroidery shenanigans for my own stuff. But... It's high time I took on an apprentice. I don't know. Might as well go here. So I'm kind of like dealing with that right now. Rude ass for fucker. Stabilize. <sighs> um. What was I meant to process? Oh yes. So I'm just kind of, you know. Freeze! Don't push. Bamboo shoots. You know, I'll leave you be, cause y'all, y'all minding your own business. But Solidify. I think I need some stuff from y'all anyway. Um, dodge this. Yeah, you know, like, so I've finished doing that. I'm, it's pretty. It's been pretty, you know, chill and shit. You know. Um. I'm 
trying to figure out what else they need to get done. Because Lord knows I don't know what. I don't know. in a state right now. I'm just kind of like, what? You know? Overflow. Okay, so this is the last day to do it. Well, I could probably do it tomorrow as well. But tomorrow... <sighs> no, today's Tuesday. I think. What is tomorrow? <laughs> Tomorrow's... Hmm. What's the hurry? so weird to have my fucking days all switched around. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Oh yeah, there's gonna be... I feel like there is something I'm forgetting, but I don't know what. And I, pardon me, does not give a shit. But I'm like, I don't care. Like, oh yeah, I was gonna also work on some uh, uh, more stuff and probably should work on uh, upgrading crap and blah, 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 blah. That's right in fucking... I'll just go to Monster real quick then. I don't know. I don't know what I did with my phone. But, like, somehow, like... Like, I lost, like, the uh, yellow tint to it. Don't know how I did it. I was just, you know, on my phone. And, I, like, my phone sp did some weird shenanigans, and, well... What can you do? I was also thinking about more writing, writing more, um, like, fa um, doing like more stuff for my OCs. Right now, I wish can't I afford anything right now until I get my paycheck. Looking out over a meadow, cider in hand. <sighs> so, <clears throat> again, I should be getting paid soon <laughs> next week. Next week, I think. This is the house. This should be it. Cool. Um, God. Like, I feel like I want to eat something, but I don't know if that's actual hunger or just, you know, that weird boredom shenanigans that makes you want to eat. I don't know. Like, that weird gut feeling. Okay, so <laughs> this room, I think. I remember this one very well. Some I remember, some I do not. It's just the way it is. It's cannibalism. Not for the cat, but who for who shall come for the cat? Should be the end. Were you the ones that liked your freaking paws? Nope. I know somebody liked like one of the paws, but 
Nope. Or was were you the tail one? Then I think it was like back pole or some shit. Just trying to remember everything. I should no. I thought I was gonna get me cherished. Hmm. Was it this year? I hate trying to figure out where exactly I gotta push it. No. Come on. There we go. Irresistible. God damn it. Fish is gonna be a read and a half. Oh, so this is the rumored sacred land. <coughs> when did I start this? This one. Mm. I'm just gonna make an assumption of 15. So. That way. Because I'm pretty sure. Oh, is this the remote sacred land that people name for a fortress, and yet it is furnished in such a prosonic manner, shabby one might even call it. Surely a few swings woven from vines of purple agate grapes might be built. Pure silver lamps mounted with candles made of abyssal sea salt. All the better to light the cat feeding platters with motif of the stars. And yes, statues forge the image of cat familiars by melting the vulnerable co coinage of lost dynasties and adorn them with strange per pearls and dewdrops with the depths of a voyage surely this would make for an ambient choice surely you must agree do you not dear familiar hmm you have yet to declare your name to your persistence think think on that then and know that it shall be your utmost honor to be known as to her yeah her name is Dopey, esteemed princess. Dopey isn't the brightest, and he can't really understand and appreciate your excusive choice of words. Please show him cle clemency, princess. Hey, wait, no, that's not right. Why does Paimon get like this whenever she sees Fischl? Nothing wrong with that. Let me give it a water. I, the great cat conjurer, sincerely pr pay my humble respects. Haha. -ha. As I appreciate it, Cat Conjurer, thou hast once more been bought before our uh, august person by the weaving of the threads of fate. This a most pleasant reunion. What's the title? Looks like Fischl heard about us from Val Valiant. By your counsel, much thought have I given of late within I meant it's a word to realize the in gratuities obtained from prior experience and I have decided to select the most gagacious and sensible of cat familiars to accompany my intimate person on my sojourns 
Oh, so you were also planning on taking care of a catfish? Well, understandable. Most people ha want to have their own after seeing just how adorable they are. But Fischl, don't you already have Oz? That's you who tend to move really fast. Can a keep cat keep up? Or are you going to have Oz fly while carrying the cat? Hmm. I, the princess and de Virtulum, often traverses 3,000 universes through such a journey may not be long, have more suitable companions, and gain insights into things easily overlooked. Naturally, you wouldn't hurt. Oz also would like to have a cat familiar to play with. Cough. Ahem. <clears throat> to join voice says with to gratitude that my mood shall shine brightly as the moonlight every second of the, every day. Yet it is a shame that 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 though Oz went to great pains to adorn a form that sets most at ease, he could not diminish his majesties fully and could not approach the cat familiars. Whenever dear Oz gets within five paces of a cat familiar, the first shall in Internally stand on ends and inflate like a bloated, floaty, unmarooned. Any closer, and terror overtakes them, and they flee for the hills. Animal Ockran devoted and Leonance recommend that Oz repo repose without, and as their advances will sound, I graciously assist. Majesty? Oh, right. Bye, Munkinson. You mean that Oz's body has so much electro energy that the second he enters the full fur balls fortress all the felines first get electrified right but if that's true how could a cat ever travel with you in official you uh, uh if only there was some sort some material in travat that can block the effects of electro then we could get a cat clothing out of that material and then a cat could travel with you in oz no problem those electro slime will be no match once I have done the point of the war. Now that Paimon thinks about it, elemental powers is super duper mega strong. If there is a material that could just easily resist something as powerful as the elements, that would be too good to be true. But you probably shouldn't stand around daydreaming. Ah, the naivety. Do not jump and judge a cat familiar's talent through common sense. The sensible res resource of mere mortals words struggle to accuracy convey their properties perhaps somewhere in the world world there exists a cat familiar that can deep dive into the depths enduring in inferno and ride upon the wild such a specialty entity would surely have no fear of thunder or lightning so long as i am patient in my search i shall find it for sooth even if i shall seek or ten or a hundred, it shall be but a fleeting instrument of the Emernot Rock Shrop. Additionally, the devoted to one's development in life is as important to the as the in, innate nature one is born with. I see this dopey and his immense potential. Perhaps after joining my rectitude for a spell. It will become all the more familiar with the power of Electro. But happenstance, I, the princess, and have distinguished a million Mary Mary's manual affairs, thus allowing myself a chin culture of time to spare. Perhaps then it shall not hurt, endeavoring to stay here and familiar myself with the cat familiars, perhaps particularly this dopey. Yeah. He. Then Paimon hopes you find, you'll have fun here and for a ball fortress for sure. I feel like she might do well with a hairless cat. I feel like a hairless cat might work out. We'll have less for shenanigans to deal with. <clears throat> um, but I could, in fact, be wrong. Go to the quest. Eight the next day. That one's here in the building in the room. I'm trying to remember how to open shit. 
I don't know why. Huh. Oh, probably because I haven't... I was like, why isn't it there yet? Because I haven't picked up the reward yet. This next bit... Shh. Oh. No, it's not all the way. Oops. I think this next bit should theoretically be... Um... Timed, but I'm not fully sure. We'll see in a minute. After this, I won't have to worry about any of the event for a while, maybe. <coughs> hmm. I'm still kind of mad that I couldn't get the dang thing to work, but whatever. Alright. Uh, the cat is hissing at me, Miss Rosaria. I'm scared. You should probably give him some space. Get too close, and all that swatting might catch you in the face. Oh no! Seems like Ballerina has run into some more cat-sized trouble. <coughs> Honorary Knight, Cat Whisperer. This big cat just barged in here after Snowball. He must have spotted her when she went out for a walk and followed her all the way back here. Easy, easy. No one's going to hurt you here. All those evil things. All those bad people who forced you to do whatever it took to survive. They can't find you here. You're safe within these walls. You're surrounded by good people now. Their constant hovering might get a little annoying, but it's all <laughs> for your own good. Just relax. A life of leisure isn't a bad thing, you know. You just have to get used to it. He, he understood all that? Cats are pretty smart. Looks like it worked. <laughs> smart cat. Whoa, this cat is way bigger than the others. His coloring looks like fresh squeezed buell fruit juice. And he's wearing a scarf too! Huh? Looks like there's some sort of design on it. Oh, it's the symbol of the Knights of Avonius! He deserves a name fit for a knight then. Hmm, he is pretty feisty. How about Sir Pancelot? <laughs> you really do have a way with cats. He looks way more at ease now. Paimon thinks you deserve to take the credit this time. Sir Pancelot seemed to calm down right after everything you said to him. It doesn't matter to me either way. Although, the fact that they're cute doesn't hurt. Let Paimon show you how to put Sir Pancelot completely at ease. Paimon just needs to work a bit more of her magic and he'll be as happy as can be. Sir Proxelot has very pretty eyes. Oh, like, oh shit. I did not realize you can play with them, like, right here. It's fucking neat. It's so mean because I keep making him go away. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Are you up here? Yeah. Hello, Sir Pancelot. Okay, so what the fuck was this one? Do I remember? No, I fucking do not. I think they remember that one. I don't know. Maybe I... Alright then. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. We'll give you a... I gave him fish from my other... My main account. But I have no fish. So, no fish for him. He is a big boy. Where do you like being pet again? I forgot. Angrily rejects. Paw. I think I messed up too on my main account too. He's like a bit of a pain in the butt. No pulse. If I get him to like me, I'll get to keep him, I think. I, according to the uh, thing. Look at him. He's got to be like one of the bigger breeds if he's bigger than the rest of the cats. So. Okay, so ten. Zero. Nope, no tail. Okay. So we like front scratches. arms come on irresistible I was like where the fuck is it his head and pinch his little cheeks he does have a certain endearing quality about him when he's not causing trouble that is hmm. I wonder how he got that injury around his eye the traces of restorative potion indicate that Sir Pouncelot should be in the vicinity huh oh it's the traveler Paimon and sister Rosaria and you must be an adventurer. I don't believe we've met. It appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. Albedo! It's been such a long time! It's super great to see you! Uh, but are you sure you're in the right place? I'm assuming the captain of the investigation team is here for some important reason? The cat. C captain He's a captain of the Knights of Favonius. An important officer just showed up without warning. And I don't even have any refreshments or snacks to offer. Please, allow me to explain, sir. I assure you, this shelter is operating under a legitimate business license. All proper procedures have been followed. So, in Brazil, we have to rest in a front decision. I have been pressured. Then if it was unaware of the investigation, doesn't handle such expectations. Ins There's no need to worry. I was simply in the area helping my team address a small issue. Namely, the location of this cat right here. Not too long ago, interim team feline treatment case number three, Sir Pouncelot, knocked out the weapons officer who was watching over him. He then fled and disappeared into the city. We knew we had to recover him as fast as possible. The cat belongs to the investigation team, 
and even bears the insignia of the Knights of Favonius. If he were to wreak havoc across the city, well, that would hardly be a welcome result for any party involved. <laughs> You're saying Sir Pouncelot is capable of knocking out a knight? And what's with all those official-sounding titles you added to his name? Interim treatment case something or other? Is there something else you're not telling us? Uh, well, I suppose I should explain. Two months ago, Sir Pouncelot got lost in the wild and accidentally ingested Whopper Flower Nectar. Due to certain effects that are not entirely understood as of yet, the nectar caused him to triple in size. Triple? Even regular sized cats can get pretty bold when they're upset. A cat triple the size? Oh, Paimon bets even a hilly churl wouldn't be enough to scare off a cat like that. So that's what happened. No wonder he was so anxious. For cats, or really any animal that lives in the wild, a larger size doesn't exactly confer many advantages. What it actually does is make their appearance more noticeable and their movements less nimble. Which in turn means living in perpetual danger of exposing themselves to attacks from predators. In other words, it means living in a constant state of fear. Exactly. When Sir Pouncelot stumbled upon our encampment, he looked quite worse for wear. His entire body was riddled with scars, and he appeared exceptionally anxious. <laughs> That's awful. I guess he had a good reason for all that swatting earlier then. If all that had happened to me, I would be afraid of new people and strange animals too. You don't need to worry too much. The problem has already been solved. I administered a restorative potion to eliminate the alchemical effects of the Whopper Flower Nectar and help him return to a normal size. Although he still might appear a bit larger than the average cat, his current size, at least, should pose no more threat to his quality of life. While in our care, various knights have been taking turns watching over him. In light of his feisty demeanor, Klee decided to call him Sir Pouncelot. We all thought it was quite fitting. We even made him that little scarf as a testament to his time among our ranks. Whoa! Klee and Paimon were totally on the same wavelength with this one! We thought of the exact same name! Great mind! really do think alike. <laughs> Sir Pouncelot's extreme level of anxiety and caution around people may be a result of residual trauma from the time of his transformation. You could say he was less than friendly towards the weapons and signals officers on our team. Klee wasn't around that much to entertain him either. However, it appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. The knights on my team would never have imagined that he could warm up to people like this. <laughs> well, they are our dear cat saviors after all. The famed honorary knight and Paimon the Cat Whisperer. No matter how feisty or frightening the cat, after a few minutes with the Traveler and Paimon, they'll be as sweet as can be. If that's the case, then I have a question for you both. Would you be willing to adopt Sir Pouncelot? Wait, really? But doesn't he belong to your team? Well, we did take him in, but it was simply out of necessity. We were always planning to find him a permanent home after his condition became more stable. The investigation team is no place for a pet. We are a combat unit after all. Any night he got close to would have to go on assignment eventually. It's hardly appropriate to just leave him at camp, and bringing him on our missions would only frighten him further. All good points. He's been through quite the ordeal already. For a creature like that, it's best to keep him away from potential triggers. That way he can slowly recover in peace. Hmm... We could set up a nice cozy little home for him in the Serena Teapot. It has everything he could want, and most importantly, no monsters. My fucking thing died right as per usual. Thank you so much, Albedo! Oh, 
No need to thank me. If you find yourselves with some time on your hands, maybe you can bring him by the encampment sometime. I'm sure my fellow knights would love a chance to see his calmer side. That, that was so touching! I can't believe I got to witness such a special moment! I do believe this counts as the Furball Fortress's first successful adoption! Hey, my veil is not a handkerchief. It appears you enjoy interacting with small animals, Sister Rosaria. I must admit, I find that a bit surprising. Hyman can also sense that you're an animal lover, Rosaria. You definitely have a way with cats. You just haven't realized it yet. After all, it's not a side of you that comes out very often. Snowball warmed up to you right from the start. And you were the one that helped Sir Pantalot calm down back there. Oh, uh, I didn't really do anything, though. I was just... there. Ah, I've got it! I've learned so many useful tips from our dear cat saviors recently. I've decided to extend the shelter's trial period for a bit in order to go over what I've learned. With some effort, I hope I can be a Cat Whisperer too one day. For now though, I'll settle for Cat Whisperer... in training. <laughs> when I open for good, what do you say we run the shelter together, Miss Rosaria? With the two of us, we could rescue every stray in Mondstadt! Hmm, the sister and the Whisperer working together! Almost sounds like it was meant to be! <laughs> oh, well... This errand hasn't proved to be too troublesome. It's light on work and stress. I suppose I wouldn't be opposed to your suggestion. I don't know much about rescuing stray animals, but this seems to be quite the milestone. Allow me to offer my congratulations. If my fellow knights run into any strays, I'll be sure to tell them to send them your way. Thank you, thank you, thank you! I really can't thank you all enough for your support! Don't worry, there's a generous reward in store for each and every one of you! The trial phase of the Furball Fortress could not have been more successful! When we open for good, you all simply must come to the opening ceremony! We'll cut the ribbon together! Now that's what Paimon calls a successful commission! Rewarding in more ways than one! Mora, a sense of accomplishment, and of course, our special friend, Sir Pantalot! Talk about a win-win-win! Paimon can't wait for the Furball Fortress to open for good! I wonder if I should do the Knights of Rafoni as a symbol. Hmm. I think it'd be neat. Uh, what I'm talking about is I'm talking about embroidery work. Because I finished the, uh... Um, embroidery work that I had earlier. Mm. Like, we're, like, I just need to... Fucking get commissioned on it. Where am I going? Because I have already done quite a bit of work. Like, I made, cause, like, I finished it off. I sent the picture to the person who was going to buy it. They said they were going to send me the money. I told them they could just give me cash, but they're kind of, they were kind of like, well, so... Be safe. May the animal archon protect you. Jewels from Liyue. Come take a look. Mm. Sir code. Show up your pig. 
How do I get it to where I can send it so people can send me money? I don't know. It's just easier if they just fucking hit the send button and just send me money that way. Okay. I wouldn't gl <laughs> yeah, it's gliding would be Error. faster, but add a <sighs> Thank you for completing Alrighty. That Do 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 Okay, so I'm currently at t at ten. Hmm. Uh, what's the harm? Kind of. It'll be nice. If I can get another new flat. I know what's her name? Alakino is gonna be the next five star. It's coming up. So there's that. Um What time is it? Actually I looked up like a lot of um everyone can hear your voice It's Tuesday Who was it? Is it Tuesday? Okay, so yeah, it's... Okay... God damn it, stupid ass water flower bullshit. Um... Fuck. You know what, fuck it. I'll work on this off screen. I'll probably just mind my own business and fiddle with things here and there. Um... But yeah, for now... Tiniest of Chibis is uh, signing out.